peace. What does it mean to you? Is peace something that's an inside job? Or is peace something that's out there in the world? Hi, I'm Reverend Allie Bierman. I'm really glad you came by today to join us for our gathering here today of Metaphysical Ministry International. What's a metaphysical ministry? It's all about the fact that the world that exists is so much more than what you can see with just your five senses. When you allow yourself to be open to how you really create your reality, to all that's going on around you that you're not allowing yourself to experience, then everything that happens just makes more sense. You begin every week with a happy share that something that leaves you feeling happy. And it's not about anybody else, not about your kids or your parents or your best friend, not about your spouse. It's something that left you feeling peaceful, happy, calm. And I have a really super happy share this week, because I think they're all super, because they enrich my life. You may notice right now, and maybe you don't because I'm speaking with the mic, but last night and recently during the day today, my voice is really, really close to what it was nearly two years ago before the brain surgery took it away. And what that tells me is all the envisioning of myself with the nerves healing, the nerves that were cut and damaged, that took my voice away. I know there's a way to recreate those connections so everything not working in my body and my voice is one of them is working and in the healing process. Oh, divine timing. Would that it could be in our timing. You know what I mean? So, what is this about peace? Is peace something that you want out there in the world? So fighting stops? So arguing stops? So people stop competing and instead live in harmony and cooperation and in community? Because together, life can make sense and the planet can be healthy as people are healthy? Or is peace something that's inside you, in your heart, that you feel? And what would that mean to you? Is it peace of mind? Is it calm? I know for me, as the years go by, the meaning of peace changes. It changes quite dramatically. When I was a flower child in the 1960s, peace to me meant no more war. And then when I was raising my kids, peace to me meant no arguing or fighting, especially when we're driving in the car. And now, peace is something that, of course, I want out in the world. It's got to be such a crazy place. And that's because there's not enough love going out. There are not enough people who are living in a peaceful place and in a place of happiness to exude that loving, happy feeling so others pick up on it and alter their own frequency. So, what does peace mean to you? Why don't you go on down there and tell us? And, as an extra, I just want to share with you, this is a watercolor that I did for the 40th birthday of my son and my daughter-in-law, which happens next week. And if you look, you can see the word peace right in there. Because when things go in on a subconscious level, they have a very powerful impact. Oh, and by the way, this hammock I'm sitting in, it's made by a company that's one of my friends, she's a psychologist, and her family makes these. And it's actually used in therapy because it alters your brain wave. And for me, as soon as I lie back in it, I'm there. I'm totally in this other space. And that's why I meditate in it. Now, if you haven't done so already, go in over there, fill in your name and your email address and I will send you a copy of 
how to take your first steps on your spiritual path. And I really appreciate your please click like and share because this community only grows by people sharing word of mouth that we're here. There are a lot of people out there who were like me before I became a minister and created this online venue who are seeking people who share the same spiritual beliefs. Now metaphysics is not about religion. You can be any religion, you can be no religion. Stuff I home here. I wish you a week filled with much peace and blessings.